Hey everyone, I'm David with Remington. Today, we are out cleaning up this Remington 700. So one of the first things you wanna do is to check to make sure the rifle's not loaded. If you have any ammunition for this gun, store it in a separate place. Don't keep it on the bench where you're doing your cleaning. Don't be tempted to function check or anything like that. What you got, it's a nice clean chamber, magazine's empty, bore's empty, you can cycle it, nothing's coming out. This is a confirmed safe gun. We're just gonna do a basic field strip because this gets a little bit of carbon buildup. Right around here, you get some gunk in that firing pin hole. You wanna make sure all of that is working and clean as best you can. To do that, we're using a little bit of Remington's Action Cleaner. This is a simple process of spraying it down, wiping it, getting the bolt body itself nice and clean. And then you can take a brush and you can brush in off the lugs, make sure all of the channels and rails stay clean and get in on that bolt face. Make sure that every aspect of this is cleaned up. And then towards the end, you wanna wipe it down with a really light coating of oil. You just wanna get in those nooks and crannies, make sure everything stays clean. And then when you're done, set it aside in a place that's protected. That takes care of almost half of the cleaning of your rifle pre-season and post-season. The rest, of course, is to try and get everything you can out of this barrel. To do that, I'm gonna use one of these Remington Flex rods. And what you do is you slide it in. I like to pull from the uh, direction that the bullet travels. So I slide it down the barrel until it comes out, the action. Now that you have that there, you can attach a cleaning brush. This wire brush will go through, help scrape out any fouling that's left over from the copper jackets of the bullets. One of the things you wanna do then is get in a little bit of bore cleaner. I'm gonna put it on the brush itself. I'm gonna put some down the bore. And then it's just a matter of getting this lined up and pulling that brush back down through the rifling. So I'm going to do at least four or five passes just to make sure everything that's going through is coming out nice and clean. And that's it. Now you go back to your cleaning kit, you pull out a squeegee. One of these squeegees, one of these rubber jobs will catch in the lands and grooves of that rifling and hold really, really tight as you pull through. Now there are a couple of other points that you wanna make sure you're cleaning up on your gun. The first is you wanna make sure you don't have any debris trapped in your magazine well. That you can wipe down with any number of things. In this case, rim oil wipe. And then you wanna clean up all around the top, any place where you're ejecting, you might get some of that carbon fouling and just pick up a little bit of dirt. So wipe down those steel surfaces, wipe down your barrel. After you've gotten this all back together, then you wanna do a function test. And that function test is pretty simple. You wanna take it and put it on safe, and then you wanna point the rifle in a safe direction. We are here at the range, so I'm pointing down at a berm. I'm gonna confirm that it's unloaded. In the safe position, pull the trigger. Nothing's happening, so the safety is functioning. And that's a good thing. Now I'm gonna turn the safety off Trigger falls just like it should. For more information, check out Remington.com or go down to your local gun store and see what they've got in stock. I guarantee you they carry Remington cleaning products. They're very effective. It's a long tradition of cleaning at Remington. It works. Keep your rifles clean. Keep everything flying straight.